This is true. It's based on many studies and, and studies involving thousands and thousands of individuals, you know, up to like 70,000 or more in a country. And it's been shown in many, many countries. Um, so not just in, in the Western world, in many, many countries, almost all countries around the world. Um, so exactly what you said, kids and children, they're happiest and the most optimistic. Oh. Then it goes down and reaches rock bottom in your midlife as well as optimism does. So actually in middle age, you stop having an optimism bias. So your optimism bias is greater, greatest in children and kids. It causes go down, down, down. And then really there's no optimism bias in midlife on average, of course. Um, and then it starts going up. You become happier and more optimistic until the last few years of life, which is counterintuitive to our image of the grumpy old man, right? And it actually stays there until the couple last couple of years of life. The difference between countries is that the dip, the, you know, the point where it's lowest actually is a little bit different between country and country. I think in the US it's about 40, it's a relatively early. I think in the UK as well, but then some countries as much, uh, I think like Italy might be 50, Greece as well, like 50 to 60. And then there's a few countries where you don't see that. Russia is one of them, um, Romania, and I forget, there's another one where you actually don't see, they, they actually just become you know less and less, less happy um, in those countries. We don't know why that is that specific uh, so, case. Um I'm 30 now, so I'm heading right down to rock bottom as we speak. <laughs> well, you've got time. You've got time. I'm about to turn. So I'm wait. I'm looking forward. <laughs> oh, so you're on your way up. I'm on, my I'm way on the way. Well, not quite yet, but I'm about on my way up. <laughs> okay.